So here, we're adding fractions with different denominators, and we have two answer boxes. That's because adding these fractions will give us a total of more than one whole, so we can write our answer as both an improper fraction and a mixed number. So first, we have 4 fifths plus 3 quarters. Now, we need to find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4. That's 20. 20 is the lowest number that's in both the 5 and the 4 times table. So, we can find equivalent fractions to 4 fifths and to 3 quarters, which both have a denominator of 20. Because remember, to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now we use multiplication to find equivalent fractions, and 5 times 4 is 20. We do the same to the numerator, and 4 times 4 is 16. Now, 4 times 5 is 20, and 3 times 5 is 15. So now that we have our equivalent fractions, we can rewrite our question. Instead of 4 fifths, we can write 16 twentieths. And instead of adding 3 quarters, we can add 15 twentieths. So now that the denominators are the same, we can keep the common denominator in our answer. And 16 plus 15 is 31. So, as an improper fraction, our answer is 31 twentieths. That's 1 and 11 twentieths as a mixed number because 31 divided by 20 is 1 remainder 11, and the denominator stays the same. Or, thinking about it another way, 1 times 20 is 20, and then we need 11 more to get to 31. Now, we have 6 sevenths plus 1 half. Now, 7 isn't in the 2 times table, so we'll need to find equivalent fractions for both 6 sevenths and 1 half. Now the lowest common multiple of 7 and 2 is 14. So we can find two equivalent fractions which both have a denominator of 14. 7 times 2 is 14 and 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14 and 1 times 7 is 7. So now that we have our equivalent fractions, we can rewrite our question. Instead of 6 sevenths, we can write 12 fourteenths, and instead of 1 half, we can write 7 fourteenths. So, we have a common denominator, so that stays the same in our answer, and 12 plus 7 is 19. So, as an improper fraction, our answer is 19 over 14. But that's 1 and 5 over 14 as a mixed number, because 19 divided by 14 is 1 remainder 5, and the denominator stays the same, or because 1 times 14 is 14, and then we need 5 more to get to 19. So, let's now use fraction bars to see what we did. For this first question, we had 4 fifths, and we were adding 3 quarters. But, we changed 4 fifths into 16 twentieths, and 3 quarters into 15 twentieths. Putting those together gave us 31 twentieths altogether, but that's the same as 1 whole and 11 twentieths. Then we had 6 sevenths plus 1 half. We changed 6 sevenths into 12 fourteenths, and 1 half into 7 fourteenths. And you can see that finding the equivalent fractions didn't change the size of the fractions, but with a common denominator, that meant that we could put the fractions together, and that gave us 19 fourteenths as an improper fraction, or 1 whole and 5 fourteenths as a mixed number. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe, or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.